Hi, welcome back all of you, Nana here. So we are into a session where we are going to customize the requisition page actually. So let me go on and share my screen. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I go to the procurement and then I go to the requisitions and purchase requisition. So in the purchase requisition, if you open it up, by default, if you go there, go to the more task and then go to the enter requisition lines. By default, they have not added this one. Fine. The agreement, source agreement type is not there. Fine. The requisition page is not having the source agreement type. As well as the negotiated tick mark. Fine. For a touchless buying, we need the negotiation tick mark. So those two things are absent by default. Actually. So here, between the source type and then agreement, there's one source agreement type has to come. And then on the left-hand side, one negotiated has to come. So by default, they are not enabled. So likewise, what happens, there are so many hidden fields are there, we can enable anything. Actually. So you know, in this uh, session, we are going to enable the source agreement type as well as the negotiated tick mark. My students have done a lot of wonders by customizing the page. And remember, only transactional screens can be customized. The setup screens cannot be customized. Like payment terms is a setup screen. If you want to customize it, it is not possible. Only whatever is a transactional screen that can be customized. So the first activity is what? You go there, you go to the home page, and then you will now create what? A sandbox. <clears throat> a sandbox has to be created. Go there. So go to the configuration, and then here on the configuration, you go to the sandboxes. In the configuration, you go to the sandbox and then you're going to get a sandbox. You click on create, create sandbox. So that is a test. Now this time, I'm not going to go for what happens a appearance action. I will now go to what page compose. I will not enable the, uh, the, the appearance. I have now, we have done a lot on the appearance actually. So we'll now go to the page composer and select the page composer. The page composer is not selected. So click on create an enter. So we are going to create an enter into the sandbox. So we are entering into the sandbox. So we are now entered in a sandbox. Now we are in a sandbox mode. Now open up the page which you want to customize. Go to the procurement and then you go to the purchase requisition. You're going to open up the page which is required to be customized. So open up the form. Then in that form, all the mandatory fields must be filled. Up. If you don't have any, if you put a mandatory field empty, it will not open. So we have to fill up all the mandatory fields. The mandatory fields must be filled with the data. Then only we can customize. So here, whatever the item description is mandatory, category is mandatory, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Let me put some item over here. Okay, is six five triple zero. So we put this item. So once I put the item, the description, category, except right to all the mandatory fields will now get filled. Actually. So you can see that everything will be getting filled. So we got the fields filled. Actually. Now we can customize this page. So after having filled up the page, which you want to customize it, I'm going to it. I will now click on that, what's called the name. And then you go to what? Administration edit pages. We are going to go to the edit pages. Administration edit. So source type and source agreement type has to come and then the negotiator has to come. That's the idea. So there are two types of customization. Certain pages, what you have to do, you have to go to the view and then go to the source. And then certain pages, you have to go to the structure. I don't know which which field, which which pages need a structure customization, which needs a source customization, I'm not sure. But this page needs a source customization. Right? So if uh, the, it's not possible to customize the source, you have to go to the structure and then customize it. Right? So this page needs a source customization. So view and then click on the source. I'm not going to go to the source. So I'm not going to go to the source. So here, there is a black line is coming. If I drag it, if I click and drag it to the top near this page. So in this area, I'm not going to customize. So click on the agreement now. If I click on the agreement, it will now ask you to edit now. I click on edit. Now this area will now go towards that area. So it will now go to the agreement actually. You go up slightly. So you will now find agreement type will be coming up. Right? Slightly go up. You can now see the agreement type. So the agreement type has to come fine. That is not fine. That is not visible at all. Fine. So we have to make it visible actually. <clears throat> I'll go there, click on it. Uh, yeah, this is the one agreement type. So click on the agreement type and then we are going to make it visible actually. And then click on the edit icon on the left hand side. Yeah. 
So click on edit icon. Wheel icon. Good. In the wheel icon, if you go down, no? you go down. So you can see in the bottom, but as the visible is not enabled. So we have to make it as visible and then show component. Both the things has to be enabled. So drop down, right? And the, there is a drop down box in the edit now. Kind of that one. There will be an expression builder. So click on the expression builder. And then the ready made expressions are available. <laughs> you remove this expression because of which it's not coming actually. So remove this expression and then make it as true. No? All small letters. No? All small letters. So click on OK. Now we can very well view it. No? Make it true. <laughs> the expression you remove it and then what happens? Make it true. And then click on the show component also. And that's it. The page is customized. This particular field will be available. Well, well, click on apply and it is visible. There are so many things are there. Fine. You have to go and then see on the child components. It can be done to a great extent. So in a technical training, they will not teach you a lot about all page customizations actually. Simple customization only I'm talking about. So you can do a lot of customization on these pages. So click on OK. Now you can see with the source agreement type will be visible actually. See, the agreement type has come out here. Similarly, in this area, we have to bring in the negotiated one. After the negotiation required negotiation there, I click on the currency. I click on the currency now. Go down. Ah, uh, it's not coming. Uh, it may be a year, I think. Uh, click on the negotiation required and click on it. And the negotiation required. So it has to go to this place. And negotiation required has gone. So the next one is what negotiated. Below negotiation required, we have a negotiation. So click on it. And then this is required for touchless buying. This is required for touchless buying. So click on edit on the left hand side. So likewise, if you click on it, what happens? The screen will automatically move to that area. Actually, it will move to that one. The same fashion, what happens? You go there, make it a scroll. Expression builder. Some customizations are easy, some are difficult. Actually, you have to only think, think, and then do it. Simply make it a scroll. And then here, what happens? Now, the show component is also automatically coming. Up. These two are on. Fine. Click on apply, and then click on OK. By which this is now customized. Actually. So the negotiator is also good. The agreement type is also good. Right? So after having done all these things, click on close on the right hand side top. Right? The customization is complete and click on close. So we are now customized the page and then we have to publish it. It's a four step process now. You click on the name on the right hand side. Step number one is publish. Right? Click on the name on the right and click on the bottom. Step number one is publish. The step number two is yes. Four step process. Step number two is yes. Actually. The th step number three is again publish. And the four, step number four is yes. So by doing these four steps, it gets published actually. Not that. So if you go to the home page, it's all personal like stuff. Now we'll now open up and then make a loop at it. So click on the procurement and then go to the purchase requisition and then open up the page. And remember, certain pages your structure has to customize, certain pages the source has to be customized. Right? You just see which one responds like this. And then the setup pages cannot be customized. Only transactional screens can be customized like this. You go to the enter requisition lines. So by default, the source type will always point to contract uh, purchase agreement. That is why you are free. When you put your agreement number, it is not coming. Now you change it to BPA and then put it in alone. Got it, agreement, afraid? Yes, no, no. You have to change it to BPA. And then. Because by default, it is a CPA and then this field is hidden actually. So that is why it is not accepting anything. The field was not visible. You can go there. And then we got the negotiate process. This is for touchless buying it. And that ends the session actually.